My work is primarily um, engraving on glass, whether it's three-dimensional or two-dimensional. And I see my glass or my art practice as a drawing practice. So I'm really looking to the history of drawing um, for cues and, and ways to use line to explore space. Um, so often my works are linear drawings or linear three-dimensional drawings to explore space. So this week my class is called Point Line Plane and it's a mix between kiln forming and cold working and we're also doing a collaborative project with the hot shop. So um, working across all of the areas that I work within within my own work and we're just sort of touching on each area and ending with an individually driven project. I guess my main goals are to get them to think more broadly about what's possible within the parameters of working with glass. So, you know, thinking about drawing techniques and printing techniques and other mark making techniques that not aren't necessarily um, traditional techniques, so not just using the lathes or the engravers. So, you know, using other materials to scratch back into the glass or draw on the glass or less permanent ways, so using pencil or um, inks or um, other materials. Um, I think drawing is a nice way to plan for something, so to do preliminary um, explorations before we use our material, but it's also a really nice way to actually make an artwork through drawing, drawing on glass and with glass. So Nancy and I have worked together a couple of times and we often send one another things um, that we want to each other to respond to so she'll often I'll design something and she'll make it and then I engrave it and send it back to her so we thought it would be a nice idea to get the students so my students um, came up with a design and they were only able to um, draw the design they weren't ab able to use any language and then we passed that design on to Nancy's class who interpreted it in the hot shop and made it and gave it back to our students and they in turn made something and gave us some visual material and we were to finish it off. So we've actually had some really beautiful things that have, um, that have come out of it. I don't really think you could ask for a better place to teach a class like this. Um, having access to the library, the museum, uh, the contemporary wing and the historic wing, it, it brings all of the amazing resources that can feed into teaching all into the one place. So you can go to the library and look at historical objects or the history of mark making and then actually go and physically see them in the museum and then come back and work on your own work. So being able to be reflective about the history and then coming back to the future within your own work is it's a really fantastic resource and exciting balance to have. Yeah.